Hello everyone, today I'll show you how this thing is working, how the oil distiller is working. Here you can see uh, a smaller version of the oil distiller. And it works exactly the same way as the one that you already built or about to build according to the manuals. Sorry for the mess. But anyway, uh, what, we, what we can see here is the reactor part. Uh, and here's a distillate condenser and here's a bitumen separator and column everything is the same and uh, slightly different uh, oil supply system but technically everything is the same so here's a oil supply the same like you've got uh, here's a separator where you're gonna get your bitumen from and here's a final product it's a diesel distillate today I'm gonna run some uh, light fuel through that so it will work faster at lower temperature uh, in case to show you and save some space on disk or whatever download that you're gonna do uh, so less explanations and I'm gonna lead you through all the necessary steps that you need to take uh, in case to run this system correctly. So I wanted to describe it in uh, text form, but I believe this one would be easier to understand. Probably I'll uh, make a few lines about that anyway. So. Uh, what you have to do first uh, here you can see everything is assembled so first of all uh, in my case it's a small 20 liter container with oil then it's going through the pump and the pump, pump line is connected to the control valve flow control valve everything is, is shut right now everything is closed so here we've got some tube running from the bitumen separator into the separate container and here's another tube everything is connected another tube running into the container where you're gonna collect all your diesel fraction here's a thermometer electronic thermometer and it's showing just 19 degrees 19.7 right now Is electricity distribution box or whatever it's a small one it's just 1.1 kilowatt system here's a probe k1 electronic probe for the thermometer now what we're gonna do first first of all it's a water connection here's a water coming in here connect the water and here's the water coming out. Start running the water first. Next thing, you have to start your pump, open up the well, prime the system until the or whatever oil you're processing uh, it starts to flow from the separator. So once it's flowing from the separator, that means that the steel is filled up. It's primed then you just shut the valve down after that you switch on your power so what we're gonna do now we're gonna start our water water is running through this is the first thing now we're gonna switch on the pump first now you can hear the pump sound of the pump is liquid inside just fluctuating jumping but it doesn't go now open up the valve fill the system
again this is the light oil it's all clear just for you to understand and to see that everything is going through just for uh, this demonstration purposes and it's going into and here you can see the liquid is started to flow from the system that's mean it's primed now you shut the valve completely and then without switching the pump off you start your heater this is the first step okay we switched on our electricity supply uh, our steel is primed the control valve is still shut down and uh, temperature already is 128 with these chills when you're processing your oil the actual temperature control is more like an observation of the temperature without any high relation to the actual work of the steel itself so the main thing uh, what we have to do right now uh, we have to wait until our oil it starts to flow from this tube so it's almost started once it started it's probably time to open up the valve just a little bit so allow some oil into the steel you have to find an equilibrium between the oil coming out of this pipe and for the waste it coming out of this pipe it should come out from here as well so from this pipe it should go at really low rate either dribbles or really thin stream so that's mean that the oil within the reactor is constantly replenishes and the evaporation is not faster or higher than the actual supply rate this is how you ensure so then you're observing your temperature even if after increasing your supply switching on your supply you can see the temperature increase probably you should still increase the control of the flow at certain point temperature would stop and what you've got here temperature is stopped diesel produced and waste is coming out this means you found an equilibrium and uh, temperature could be absolutely different from uh, distillation to distillation uh, it's all uh, depends on uh, kind and quality of the oil you process and if you process in automatic transmission oil it's going to be low temperature higher speed of the production if you're processing some old diesel engine oil it's going to be higher temperature not low high temperature much higher temperature low production uh, something like that so from time uh, from oil to oil it's all always different so you're doing one distillation with one product you can expect higher production ratio uh, rate and uh, a low amount of the waste like with automatic transmission fluids okay. you have to observe your temperature your thermometer only to make sure that the temperature is not climbing up for the fine control of the oil supply now you can see the increase of the production here at the same time 
we've got temperature stopped at 164 again this is the very light oil I'm processing today just for demonstration purposes temperature stop, stopped at 164 uh, 168 uh, slight fluctuation between 5 degrees up and down is not really concern so you can see it's been 165.6 it can drop down a little along the way but it's still climbing but anyway uh, let's assume that it stopped 166 uh, we've got our water flowing through the steel and we've got some some waste running out it's accumulating here you see you can see it it's accumulating in the tube slowly so we achieve achieve the equilibrium all you have to do right now is just observe the temperature make sure that the waste is coming out this is the main thing low very thin stream should go from the waste pipe all the time at the same time you have to have a decent stream of the distillate and the temperature that is not jumping up and not going down this is the main aspects to to look for uh, how to shut it down it's very simple shut down the electricity uh, let the steel cool down with the containers still in their place so it's still producing because it's still uh, it's still be hot shut the wealth supply wealth as well just after you switched off your electricity let it cool down for half an hour, hour shut the water down and this is it then take your drums with fuel and waste and use it this is it